So, hey guys, it's Limited here with a new tutorial for the tutorial community. Today I want to show you how to make a simply intro, as I just uploaded on the tutorial community. Yeah, well, it's this one. So, it's very easily made, so um, for the beginning just create a new project. So first of all we need the logo. I already have this from the team who wanted the intro. Then um, we're gonna add a new video layer. Go to media generators. Then to color gradient. And we can just choose sunburst or some of them. Of them with the circles. Now um, we put the layer under the layer with the logo and then we edit it with this generated media in the middle we just let it be black and outside we can let it be like a bit blue or a bit orange however we want it I think it was like this so next um, we need transitions we need um, yeah we can add colors on the intro and of course we can make a little bit pan crop so first of all we have to think of how long should the fade in take let's let um, yeah let's take three seconds by clicking in the upper left corner of the footage yeah, um, now we, yeah, we can also add the fade out yet. So now we can just, um, yeah, we go to the transition, the transitions. For fading in, I chose 3D blow apart. Um, I think it was that one oh wait yeah you can just choose any of them yeah let's take this one blow bottom right yeah it was this one and for fading out um, I chose new blue 3d intensity grid and um, yeah here are also different types of it um, I chose can't really remember well of course it was this one I think I took this one yeah it was this one it's pretty cool for fading out and yeah you can add it as well for the um, background if you want um, yeah furthermore of course in the beginning you can add the 3d blow part as well but you don't need to um, the next thing is we need some sound or music whatever I'm gonna take some music from a partner of me got the right from him yeah then we have to find the place when it should start Yeah, I think it was here. Like here and yeah, just let it fade in as well. Cut it if you press S. Yeah, here. Fade out. And then you can mark this um, point to synchronize later by clicking on M. Pressing M. Well 
at that point. Yeah, and here. So first of all, we can choose a point for pen crop, for example. Yeah, we will we go to the point here. So now we see it here. There, we want it to be a bit bigger. And to the end it should be a bit smaller. So Yeah, in in the real intro it was like this. I see. So now um, we have the other sync point. We can just add any effect. I think I used new blue wiggle. So we just add the simple one. Reset to none. Oh no, no, no. It was TV simulator. Reset to none. Search this point again. And then the um, line sync. Yeah, let's make like 0 0.9 and let it become less. So, for the end, we can add some colors for the logo as well as the background by using magic bullet looks for example yeah either you have some colors made yet or you just make some new ones as you can see here in the background it's a bit different <laughs> yeah for example this ones and then you're here um, yeah well it's easy you just go there edit Cool effect is a uh, diffusion. I chose a blue one, very small one. Yeah, and then it looks like this turn off the colors here. You can see the difference between this and this. And yeah, well, if I pre-render it then, it takes a few seconds. Yeah, it looks like this then. Yeah, that was it. It um, yeah, I'm limited. Called limited arts or just limited. And well, subscribe to the tutorial community as well. And if there are any interested, of y interested guys of you who want to make some tutorials, just message us by a PM or just message me or interface. And yeah. See you then. Bye.